Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this tutorial we are making an image classification project using Python and you also use Carol, TensorFlow, OpenCV and so Librion in Python. So the project name is Face Mask Detection. So I already uploaded a demo video on my YouTube channel. So this is the demo video. Okay. So this one is the new demo video. So let's click on play and you can see here. Take some time to load, okay. No marks uh, over my head, so you can see here. And I put here a uh, picture of with marks, so you can see here over uh, it will be marks. So you can also see here marks, and I don't have any marks right now. So if I put here another picture with no marks, you can see here it detects and say no marks. So in the studio, we are going to make this one. So first, what you need to do, we need to collect the data using OpenCV. That's when we have to make a data collector. So it will collect the data with face and also without face. So this is the project directory. Okay. So this is the project directory. We are making this one. So we already created a folder of images, but inside this, uh, there is no images right now. So we need to collect the images using OpenCV. And uh, I will I and upload. I, I can you can see here a hard cascade frontal default direction file inside this folder. So you need this to detect your faces. So let's jump on the code. So here's my sublet text. So this one is the folder. So inside this folder, I'm going to create a new file, new Python file, control F, and name it as, uh, let's say, data collector.py. So first, what you need to do, you need to import open CV. Import CV2, let's zoom it a little bit and create our initial uh, video capture frame and see video equal cb2 dot video capture uh -huh. uh, video capture okay take some time to auto completion uh, zero and let's say while true okay and create the frame so red frame equal uh, video dot read okay then uh, let's uh, create the I am show method to show the frame so I am show window name so window name let's say frame and the material uh, should be the frame so frame so this is the just window name you can uh, let's say another name let's say window name you can choose as it is or in your one so let's say windows a uh, window frame or you can say window okay and the frame so now what you need to do we need to create a white key to white this uh, recall pop-up of the video capture frame so let's put in your variable so if anyone press Q from his keyboard so it will black that's mean the infinite loop will be black so Q so let's say um, black and finally what you need to do you need to reduce this our video relief okay and destroy our image cb2 dot destroy destroy all windows take some time to auto complete okay let's see control d to run this and after running this program you can see here it will uh opening my kernel and it will open my webcam and Okay, so you can see here window frame. So this is the title of the frame and this is my face. Okay, so now what you need to do, we need to detect our faces and collect the images from my faces. So that's Q. Okay, so let's create a variable for face detect to load the hair cache kit file cb2 dot cache uh, kit classifier. Take some time to auto complete. Okay, classifier and the file name. So let's click on here and click the rename and copy for control C. Go to the data collector.py and paste it. Dot action. Okay. So then uh, we need to create the some uh, variable the faces. We are detecting the faces. You can it, it should be multiple times, multiple faces. Okay. So CB2, not a CB2, uh, face detect dot detect uh, multi scan. So image name. So let's say frame. In our uh, image name is the frame you can put here as it is your name because it's variable okay 
So put here the threshold 1.3, let's say uh, 5, or you can see a scale factor and the 5 is the number of new value. Okay. So for x comma y comma w comma h, so we are going to iterate all the coordinate values in of the phase. I create a rectangle here. So cb2 dot rectangle rectangle. Okay. So first one is the image name and the point one. So point one is x comma y and the coordinate of x comma y. Okay. So make the couple form. And uh, the point two uh, should be the x plus w and y plus h. Okay. And the color. So color let's say put here uh, something let's say 255 okay and thickness let's say put your what is the thickness let's say 3 okay control v and see it will detect my face or not let's break my thickness too. so okay so you can see here it will detect my faces right now so now what you need to do you need to collect the data okay we need to collect the data here and store into the folder of the images okay so when it will detect the faces so we need to collect the data okay so press q okay so now what you need to do we need to create a path variable to collect the data and count the frame okay so uh, let's say because we are going to take 100 not 100 500 images okay or you can say 1000 images but <laughs> let's say collect the 5000 images so after collecting the 5000 images maybe it automatically Brack. <clears throat> okay. So now what you need to do, you need to go to the folder of the what folder inside this uh, iteration part count equal to count or count plus one. Then create a variable for the path. That's a name equal. So and put here single and the folder name images and the folder name. So let's say a new folder let's say face underscore max that's mean with max okay let's copy it here and put in the folder path name so face max and slash and the strand of the count you can see here for uh, connecting the images so or also the count also the count in a string format and make this image into a jpg format that's mean we are going to save this one picture in a jpg format okay okay so this one dot jpg okay now it's correct so let's also print a statement when you're creating the images okay so let's say creating creating uh, creating images dot 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 and let's say put here the frame of the name let's say name and then what you need to do we need to write it in our particular path so i am read so it will take a uh, it will take some parameter read or write i am right okay right okay so file name and the image name so what is the file name so file name is the name and the image image name should be something so first one is the frame and we are going to cut the detecting phase i mean only the detecting part so you need to do something here so first what you need to do we need to go to the y dot y plus if and it will cut the um, cut the coordinate of the just y coordinate and also it will cut the coordinate of the x coordinate so that's we have to put here x plus w same as it is same as it is so it will detect the faces and uh, cut the square okay so let's order my marks marks right now and also open my open my light okay this one and control v to run this and see it will open or not yep some problem frame okay 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 we need to put here uh inside this parameter okay this is a one tuple again probably or not i think no problem 
so you can see here it is not detecting my face correctly i don't know why yeah okay so let's so it will collect the faces of the face marks take some time to load i need to detect okay i don't know why it takes some time okay it will detect it no problem again some problem actually uh, if your camera is much more clear so it will detect all the things uh, i already um, detect my faces using droid cam so this time i can also use this to collect the images okay and i already collect some images of my with face marks and also the face without marks okay i think i don't know why is this time is not working working mean uh, it is not detecting my face cause my light is not so good okay i don't know why but it is still uh, collecting the data of the eight images but how and let's press q and it will gone uh let's create the another folder for the face uh without marks so then face without marks okay so let's copy it here and collect the face without mask and copy the images of the face mask from my directory i will be uh cast it okay so put it down here face without mask so let's uh remove mask and it will now it will detect it the face correctly cause some problem of the uh images so you can see here it will detect my face correctly so this one so 37 images right now 45 and okay and 51 or you can also create a condition to after collecting the 15000 or 500 images so it will automatically back okay just collect the 500 images and i will uh, put here the queue and it will automatically back or you can also put some condition after it will uh, for the for the mice is okay so two three four five okay so it will collect the images let's say 500 images we are going to collect 300 right now take some time to load Three hundred, four hundred. Okay, uh, just what you need to do, you need to collect the data like this. Okay, I mean like this format. So it will collect the images. Uh, after five hundred, I will press Q. So now it's five hundred three. Or you can also uh, make a statement when it will count. Uh, after it will break. Okay, so you can also. <laughs> uh give here this treatment count uh is <clears throat> then 500 so this loop automatically back so this also be work so let's see the images uh you can see here images okay of mine okay it without marks and face marks there are some images of the marks okay and see okay let's go to the directory and let's say delete the face marks images okay and collect my previous folder okay i don't know why my computer is hanging man yep again the screen is gone take some time to load I don't know why. Cause OpenCV and also TensorFlow gives so much amount of GPU, but I don't have GPU right now. That's why it will take some time for me. Delete and go to the go to the what do you call my first directory where I save the images. So you can see here one folder. Uh, this is the picture of mine and also zero and this is the picture of with marks so let's copy it from here just i will uh, put in the variable so if the face with marks 
so go there and okay paste without marks so without marks so you can post here all the things let's delete it and <coughs> paste it here your camera is much more clear okay it will give you some more correct output okay let's paste it here so i will okay 4.3 b so i will collect these images okay uh, when i made this demo video okay take some time to copy all the files so you can uh, collect as it is but i don't know why it's getting some problem i think my light is not so good right now so collect the images in this way okay and go to this folder uh, inside this zero with face marks think some images okay okay fine Control c and go to the entire folder and face marks okay past it and it will copy all the file from here okay so 6.10 mb right now so it will copy all the files okay so i already i i also put this uh, whole code and the whole entire materials in my github repository you can download from it here or you can also make your custom data sets okay so now uh this one so face marks and face all face don't mark so now what you need to do you need to uh make it as a folder name zero and folder name with one okay so this was the thing we're going to do so first inside this zero folder uh there are the images of the face marks and inside this folder one we have the images of the without marks okay so let's jump on the code so uh, we are creating uh, this file already so this one the file so this was the pre-processing part and the training part i mean train the cnn model okay so now what you need to do you need to import the warnix because we are using tensorflow uh, 1.5 version in 1.5 so it will uh, uh, give you some error okay don't use this one uh, because this is not a latest version so we are going to ignore all the things then what you need to do you need to import the cb2 module and after this we have to import the numpy for some multi-dimensional competition uh, computation and uh, we are going to use the of for operating system because we are going to load some images from our system and also we are going to use the matplotlib to some visualization and then we are going to uh, uh, import from sqlr the model section input the train test split because we need to uh, split the data in the two format uh, first one is the train and another one is the test and you can do some uh, you can also say some validation usually then what you need to do you need to uh, you need to import a uh from care of the preprocessing let's remove my marks from this okay so now from care of the preprocessing dot image we are going to import the image data generator so who should we, uh, i mean image data, data generator will do some uh, data argumentation techniques that's mean it will generate more amount of data that's mean if your data is not much more i mean your data is uh, you don't have any amount uh, much more of data so you can do some uh, zooming, sharing, and and what do you call and generating some more amount of data. So this is called the data argumentation. And we also put here to categorical uh, from utils dot amp utils. We, this uh, this actually uh, happens on the one hot encoding. We are doing one hot encoding here, and we also uh, make our sequential uh, model. That's why I have to input here. We have to input here from keras dot model sequential then our layer is convoluted because we're using the convoluted and the dance layer and the max pulling layer and the activation function and the dropout layer and as optimizer we are going to use the add up and also you need to have a pattern layer for fully connected uh fully connected uh, your network as the optimizer you are going to use adam so there are a few types of optimizer you can use this one but adam is most uh correct i mean it will give you the most correct output okay so first what you need to do we need to uh, initialize some variable for the path of the images and the some empty uh, empty what do you call empty array or empty list okay so first what you need to do we need to put here the path name the path should be images you can see here inside this folder 
so i'll create a files of images so this one of the images which will contain two folder and the class number is the mc right now cache ratio is 0.2 and the validation ratio is 0.2 and we are going to uh, make our image into 32 by 32 and you can see image dimension 32 comma 32 comma 3 that's mean this tree is means that uh, this image is rgb image that's mean it has three channels so first one is a red and another one is a green red green blue okay rgb channel so now what you need to do you need to create a list of this whole uh, what you call it? whole folder okay you can see here my list equal to os dot list D, and inside this list we put here the path okay and we are also uh, generating the length of the folder inside this folder so inside this image folder we have the two images i mean two folder so zero and one so the length should be two okay now the length should be two so number of classes equal length should be two let's uh, uh comment all the line and see uh all the things so much so more more lines of code okay so if i do the live coding so it will take uh above three or four hour okay okay so let's shift enter and see it will working or not i think it is loading uh take some time you can see here star mark right now so so now after it will loading uh I uh, again I try to print the number of the classes. Number of the classes it will show uh, two. That means the folder directory line. Okay. Then uh, you can see here print the statement also. You can remove as it is right now. But this time it will loading. So we need to load this from again. Cause it takes some time. Cause it will loading so so library. You can see warning CB2 NumPy OS MacBook Live and also the car. It will loading right now. Okay. So let's do it again and see. Okay, you can see here two. That's mean I, we have the number of classes is two. Okay, so now uh, we are going to importing all the classes from the folder. That's mean importing all the picture from the uh, folder and creating a, a what do you call and resize it at the 32 by 32 and append the, all the images with respect to class name inside our current directory so you can see here images and the uh, class number uh it's empty right now so we need to put it down here and make this a folder and finally we have to go uh, go to make these images into numpy array because you know uh why and we need to create some uh convolution technique or you can say back progression of the forward progression so we need to make this image into a numpy array okay so let's uh, remove all the things I mean remove all the comment okay let's comment up here so it will take some time to load this you can see here first what you need to do it will creating a loop for zero to number of the classes so we have the number of classes is two and making a folder making a list I mean making the drift of the list and it will uh, collecting on the images after collecting the images we are going to iterate all the images because uh, in this type okay and what you need to do you need to read the images and make the images size as 32 by 32 okay so you can see here current image plus cb2 or resize car image comma image dimension 0 0 means the uh, index number of this image dimension uh, tuple so this one 32 and the 32 okay and we do need to put here the rgb channel so it will open the current images inside my images uh, list and also the expand to the class name inside my class number okay so you can also print it out from here and check it it will uh, take some time to load this and also we are going to make this numpy array okay take some time to load okay uh, so it will uh, importing all the classes you can see a print statement is now not a string okay so load this i think take some time to load this because there are so much more images and uh, this one what do you call importing the class number zero right now okay one okay i think now it's correct okay okay done so we can also remove this comment out and see it will working or not okay not this one shift enter okay so you can see importing classes zero and one 
so that's mean what a uh, what it will do so it will first uh, uh, iterate in all the picture from the list of the folder that means it will go to the zero number folder and make a list of the path and after after getting this path it will iterate in all the picture from this path in if i this y and it will we are going to read this um, and after reading this image we are making uh, this image into 32 by 32 that's why i am using cb 2 resize method and after resizing this uh, images we are going to put it down here image list and also the class list okay and then what you need to do you need to uh, convert the image into numpy array now so what you need to do now uh, we need to spreading the data into and train test and validation split okay so this one is the uh, train test and validation split so you can train or split we are already uh, loaded from our sklearn module sklearn from sklearn.model selection we are going to import the train test split and inside the parameter you have to put in the images and the class name and the test ratio okay so our test ratio is 0.2 we already uh, gave it here uh, okay 0.2 okay so now what you need to do we need to uh, create uh, some uh, what do you call some variable of this you can see that it is okay and see okay so you can also print the shape of the images i mean shape of the your images so it will load this but take some time to load this i'm now uh, okay. so first what you need to do now what you need to do uh, we need to make this uh, whole thing uh, inside this parameter and it will iterate in the uh, number of the classes and it will uh, collect in the number of sample you can also print it out from here but now as this time i am going to commit it over here so now what you need to do you need to uh, collect it not a comment out okay let's also remove this comment line okay so now so we are creating a full uh, empty list of the number of samples that mean uh, number of the samples so first what we need to do right now uh, we are we, are, we have to iterate all the number of the classes inside this act so it, it will append all the files uh, higher extreme equal to from it is equal to zero so it will uh, say the number of samples that mean i have 500 images the two folders so that's mean i have the hundreds uh, 1000 sample so it will check it this one and make a bar plot okay so shift enter so you can see here importing the classes 0 1 and 1 and you can see here a bar plot so bar plot of the classes and the images so you can see it has more more than 500 images okay uh, this is the bar plot you can check it from here that's mean uh, how the images are like now what you need to do you need to do some pre-processing step using this function after this we are uh what do you call we are going to call it in our image data generator to generate more amount of data so now what you need to do you need to create a list of the map okay for the validation and the testing and the valid and the validation part then we need to uh, reshape it into one comma thirty two comma thirty two comma one so this is the code for that so you can see x train equal to x train or reshape x train or reshape zero and x train dot one and x train the reshape all the things okay uh, you need to do uh, same as it is so it will first iterate all the value from the pre-processing it will using the pre-processing again my computer is hanging okay takes some time to load because uh, I'm using GPU, not GPU actually. I'm using CPU, so that's why it will uh, sometime it will give me the blank, blank screen. Okay, right now, okay. So, first we are creating the list. Why? Because we are going to use this pre processing uh, method. So, what it will do? So, it will collect in the images and it will convert this image into grayscale format after. Uh, collect the image in the grayscale format it will equalize or you can say normalize the images after getting it we will divide by 255 that's me when the images are let's say uh, 1 to 2 we can divide it 255 so the range should be 0 to 1 so that's mean the image should be in normalized so now what you need to do we already splitting our data into a train test split format then 
we need to iterate all the pre-processing and also the training emails from this map list. So this map is a, uh, is a method in Python, so it will help you to do all the things uh, and iterating all the bills from the X-train and it will put here into the pre-processing. It will pre-process the images and make the images into a list and after that it will convert the image into a numpy array. Okay. Then what you need to do, you need to uh, reshape our images uh, like this format. So 32 uh, reshape, uh, that means the uh, size of the images, I mean you can also say shape of the images 32 by 32 and also the and the shape, you can see it, it, it is some changes from here, okay, okay. So you need to do abilities right now, okay. Then what you need to do, you need to um, import the image data generator. We already imported now uh, we need to <coughs> use it so like make make a variable for image data gen so image data generator and wood ship brains 0.1 and high ship brains is 0.2 0.1 and the zoom range is 0.2 and we put here the shear range 0.1 cause it takes some uh, more amount of parameter okay and the rotation range is will zero so what did you do so first uh, it will collect the images from the x train x trace and the x validation and after collecting the images it will uh, do some pre-processing step or you can say data argumentation step uh, first it will uh, shift the weight and then shift the weight and zoom the images and also the shoot the images and rotate the images and it will collect the uh, collect some images in different angle okay then what you need to do you need to feed the uh, feed this uh, what do you call feed this variable into the x train that's mean it will uh, uh, generate all those images from the x for x train okay then what you need to do you need to do some one hot encoding to do okay so this is the one hot encoding so it will uh, it will uh, make some rows of the picture of zero and the picture of one that means picture of the marks and picture of the width of marks then we need to create the model so this is the this is the most important uh, most important things okay let's remove it okay so create a, a function for my model and we put the size of filter 3 comma 3 and the size of filter 2 3 comma 3 and size of the full size is 2 comma 2 okay so we are using the filter as 3 comma 3 okay so first what you need to do we need to create our sequential model so we create our sequential model model equal to sequential and we add some uh, hidden layer here convert to equal 32 and size of filter is 3 comma 3 and input shape we are already initial our image dimension 32 comma 32 comma 3 so we are going to uh, put it down here but not in the 32 32 comma 3 32 32 comma 1 because we are making this image into a grid scale format so if you collect the images into a RGB image, so you need to uh, convert this image into a grayscale format. Of uh, course, uh, in CNN, uh, it will it will give you much more accuracy when you uh, convert this image into a grayscale format. So activation function, we are going to use the ReLU. Okay, there are so many activation function you can use this, but ReLU is the most popular. Okay, then we we uh, add uh, another convert layer for 32. And size of filter is same as it is activation function is real so in this case you need to we do not to, in, you don't need to put here the input shape okay then we, we put here a max pulling layer the full size of scroll comma 2 and as it is we are creating this same format with 64 okay and put here dropper 0.5 for um oh, what do you call uh to some problem of the work fitting okay to remove some problem of the work fitting and the under fitting problem so we put here a dropout so it will help us to uh what do you call save our data into uh, save our model to don't be in over fitting or under fitting okay and we need to create a fully connected layer so you can see here model dot add and a flatten layer and finally we need to put here the dense layer up to 64 neurons okay so this is the 64 neuron number of node i think miss let's say 64 okay and the activity function we are going to use the relativity function and dropout is 0.5 and finally you need to create a output 
layer for this it is the input layer first one is the input layer okay and uh, this is the hidden layer and this one is the fully connected layer and this one is the number of classes uh, we have the number of classes is two i think okay number of classes is two yep okay where is this number of classes so our length of the classes is two and the activation function we're going to use softmax because this is give you some uh, binary uh, binary classification let's say i have two classes or you can say for basically for the output shape you can use uh, softmax okay and we need to compile our uh, <coughs> model so using learning rate 0.001 it is uh, static so atom equal to learning rate 0.001 and we are going to use loss as categorical cross entropy because we are using the categorical data again some problem of the screen i don't know why Okay, takes some time to load this my computer. No. Load, 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 load. That's why for deep learning you need to use some more amount of GP computer, but I don't know why. So matrix we are going to put here the accuracy and we are going to return the model. Okay. So after creating the model, we uh, call our method and print the model summary. After printing the model summary, we are fitting this our model using this fit generator function. So data gen dot flow x train y train and the best size we put here 50. And after plot epochs, we are going to put here the hundred. So it will take the hundred samples. And epochs we put here two, or you can say five, ten, whatever you can. Okay. And the validation data put here the validation and y validation data and the shuffle is true one means true and the model would save in the training dot model so if i shift uh, enter it will uh, the shell is running it will import in the images and after importing the images it will make a bar plot and after that it will give me the model summary and it will start in the training you can see here epoch one so it will take so uh, time to train this model so i already trained my model uh inside my folder how can i make the demo video so let's kernel click on kernel and interrupt this one okay and copy the file uh, from the my previous project here thing this this one okay left to be hanging again i don't know so this one copy it from here so this is the if file how you run this code so you can find uh, this type of file so copy it from here minimize it and go to the android directory and go to this okay this one and paste it here okay so after run this you can find these types of model okay so inside this folder we have the two classes 0 and 1 we collect the data using OpenCV and we also train our model and do some pre-processing skills okay so don't worry guys uh, I put this all code I mean all material on my github link you can copy it from here and but it, as a developer you need to uh, know all the things okay so now what you need to do we need to uh, check it I mean testing so that's why you have to we are using our subline text okay so let's create a folder folder or file 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 for testing save it as testing.py so let's say you can say testing or test.py <laughs> testing.py test okay so I already create this uh code in my sublindex so this is the code control a control c and copy and minimize it okay and paste it from here because it will take some much more amount of time to uh live coding okay so now check it okay so first what you need to we need to also input the warnings after importing the warnings we are going to filter the warnings and include uh, ignore all the warnings then 
Now what I need to do, you need to import the NumPy as ANSI and I also need to do import the CB2 model. And do in which to do import the pickle, but this time it's not necessary. And we are loading this model from Keras.model, importing the load model. Then we need to detect our faces. After de detecting our faces, we need to cut down the faces. After cut down the faces, we are going to classify it. And the threshold we are going to put here 0.9. That is the probability. And we are put here uh, VD capture equal to 0. Let's put it down here as 0 right now as initial frame. Okay, I also show you how can you, um, you use your uh, mobile phone camera to classify the images and cap dot set you put here 3 comma 6 or 0 if the uh, frame of the white and the frame of the height and the front we are going to use the hash shift complex and now what you need to do you need to load our model so model equal to load model and the model name path so this is our model so my model training my training model dot is five and we need to pre-processing our data we already do as it is but in this case you need to do also this as it is because we are collecting this data and matching our model okay so you can see here that preprocessing so we need to do as it is inside this testing also okay that's when it will collect the uh, picture of the images of mine i need to detect my faces so it will do some preprocessing step it will do and make this image in the grayscale format it will uh, normalize the images then it will go to the model check it it is face marks or face width of marks then so you can see here if the class number is zero equal to uh, if the class number equal to equal zero uh we say this is marks but in this case i don't know why this one and go to this zero zero mean uh uh with marks okay that's when you put here the marks and the class name is one that's mean no marks now so what you need to do now uh we need to create the while through uh, of the video capture frame and we are creating loading this success comma image origin equal to capture root width and we are detecting our face as it is same so for x comma y comma w comma h in the faces and we're creating uh you can also create the rectangle now it's time i am coming up from here so now what you need to do you need to crop the uh images from our frame when it will detect our face we are going to crop this one after going to crop this one we need to resize this image in the 32 by 32 and do this reposting step and reshape into 1 comma 32 comma 32 comma 1 why because in my training set i do the same thing here you can see here x train dot shape 0 x train dot shape 1 x train dot shape 2 and 1 that means it will do this type okay now we need to predict our model using this model dot predict we need to put here images and the predict the classes of the images and the probability value so this is the probability you can also see so if the probability is greater than one so it will give you the correct output so you put here we put here the threshold value as 0.90 that means if the probability is greater than 0.90 so it will say this one the class of the face marks or the face with on marks then we put here a condition if the class index is equal to equal to zero so we are creating a rectangle over here after this we are creating the uh, blank rectangle and inside this we put here the port tax image only a string we are making this class and do some things so see so cb2 rectangle this is the image frame name and this is the point one is the point one the color name and the thickness and this one uh, it's also same we are do some things of the creating the rectangle over these faces and make this minus two that means this rectangle is filled right now and we are going to put the text here image original and string make the classes name at a string format and do this one i don't know why why no yeah okay and the front name and the share width is 0.5 and you can see threshold of me and the color and the thickness and the line a okay it also same as it is in the class name too so now finally what you need to do you need to show our images i mean result so that's the cb2 dot i am showing the result and the image original i need to put here the white key k equal to cb2 dot white key and put here the one if you don't press the q it will back okay so now we are going to use our just initial camera and after that i'm i'm, I'm trying to show you how can you use the your mobile camera to detect your faces okay 
take some time to load this okay where is my wire to okay and then know why it takes some time because uh, this model is loading right now it takes some time to open your webcam you can see using tensorflow backend here because uh, you are using the carols it will open my webcam right now but okay right now okay so you can see here no marks okay no marks right now so you can see here no marks so if i put here the marks it will give me the output but in this case i am just using my mobile phone camera so let's close it right now and open my droid cam okay uh here this let's say type here in the search box and see droid cam droid cam droid cam droid cam chat client and also open this inside my mobile phone okay white place okay white and remove the usb put and put the usb and using this one the back camera okay now okay so take some time to set up this okay so you can see here start click on start view 1727 start okay no device is detected take some time to load these devices okay okay i think okay okay how is this oh is this connected sometime i don't know why no device detected okay again no device is detected what the problem man again because my computer is hanging cause in deep learning you need so much more amount of no device is detected i don't know why refresh it and check it again i think in my mobile phone we need to disconnect right now okay yep right now it's okay click on start it will loading the image frame yep right now yeah right now it's okay so like this as it is and also give this one yep right now okay so now go to the code so this is the code and give it into one and check it right now okay okay load the <coughs> backend oh again problem i put the marks <laughs> over my yep again I don't know why it's getting error. My droid cam is okay right now, but yep, yep, yep. Come on, come on, come on. I need to open this droid cam again. Droid cam. Okay. So now it's not working because I am removing my webcam. So no device is detected right now. Refresh it take some time 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 click on start starting guys yep right now okay so this is okay right now okay let's run it control b again and see it will give me the carry output or not using tensorflow backend open 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 oh. yep no marks right now so if i put here the marks so yeah you can see here max uh, if your camera is much more clear okay it will give you the correct output so let's zoom it and see you can see here max right now and i ordered the max you can see here it's max so it will appear or uh, it will actually depend on your uh, webcam also and also your data but i am collecting the data it's the right way but you can see yep max
yep okay so if i put here some images okay so it will give me the correct output hopefully so q and remove the link and let's say zero and <clears throat> import the images from my image directory uh aha uh -huh. and control b okay where are the images okay download folder yep right now so now it will opening this okay so you can see here you can see here with marks images is right now marks and uh, this one also be with no marks because the image is much more clear okay uh, with our python inventor no marks and also let's say some picture uh, and with marks and also some private actress let's say this one no marks okay and also let's say pretty sure okay so this one no marks okay so this is the whole tutorial so hope you will enjoy this video okay so make sure to subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for never miss now and I already created another video of the gender classification using this format, but some different. Okay, so I will uh, put this all code and all the materials on my GitHub link. You can download it from here. Okay, so thank you.